Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am finally getting around to doing my testing sports girl makeup. If you hear something, if you're new here and you're not aware, I have a six week old daughter who is currently sitting next to me watching mummy film. So yeah, if you hear a few little baby noises then that would be it. Also, we have a new name going on here on my channel. You guys are my fam and we are called Amy's Angels. Hashtag Amy's Angels. Now, I know it might sound cheesy, but I asked you guys in a few videos back, if you read my description, I was like, what can we call, like, what can we call us? Like this little fam going on here. So it's Amy's Angels. I love it. I don't care if it's corny. I'm a little corny, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, the daylight is going down and I do have studio lighting, so I'm hoping this video lighting is all right. Also, I did get a new camera, so I'm hoping quality will be a bit better. Also, if things are a little bit not so great then that is why because i'm still getting used to the new camera i got a new dslr my daughter is deciding that she wants to talk and be in this video as well so that's totally okay also i have got my hair done and i do have tinges of pink i wanted to get it overtoned pink but being a mom you know i just chuck my hair up it's just so much easier so you guys will see my pinky bits wow that sounded bad you guys will see the <laughs> my hair a bit better in future videos. Sorry for the little ramble at the start of the video, but I just wanted to inform you guys on a few things and whatnot. So if you guys like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you want to join this little family have going on here. Just wanted to let you guys know I'm currently at 36,000 subscribers, which I'm so grateful for. However, my numbers keep going up and down. I think that's just normal, but it's just so frustrating lately. They keep fluctuating, but I'm hoping we can just grow this fan some more. Also, giveaway at 40k, so that's when my next giveaway will be. So hopefully, I can grow to there at some stage soon. But I love you guys so much, and thank you for your support. So if you want to see how this sports girl makeup performs, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in, and I'm going to start off with my eyes. Obviously, you can see that my eyebrows are already done. And if I'm looking over this side, I'm so sorry, because I've got to get used to the viewfinder being on this side again because of my old camera was up the top. So I'm super sorry. I'm going to try and look into the lens though. People will hate me. So I'm going to do eyes first. And yeah, as you can see, my eyebrows are done. Sports Girl do have like one eyebrow product, but it's not like the greatest, if I'm honest. It's just a little retractable brow pencil. And they also have a standard brow pencil, which I already own tons of. So I didn't really want to pick it up. And I was like 10 or $13. So I'm going to go straight in with my eyeshadow palette which this is my eyeshadow palette which is called pretty as a peach peach scented eyeshadow palette so as you can see this gorgeous palette right here it's peachy and then you open it up and here are what these shades look like it is stunning and now let me tell you i've looked online i don't own normal peach palette but i've looked online and this is pretty much identical shades to the Too faced sweet peach palette this one was $29.95, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this and how much hype it was on my photo that I posted, so I'm super keen to dip into this. So I'm going to take this first shade here, which is Polly. I love how these sports girl eyeshadows are not only named on the front, but also on the back. So I'm going to take this matte transition shade and just set my lid down like I always do. Although I think this might have a bit of, whoa, pigmentation. I'm also going to mix a bit of peony. So the top, the top and the bottom shade. But damn, I was not expecting that. I've never used Sports Girls eyeshadow. Oh, well, I actually have like ages ago when their makeup wasn't really a thing. But now their makeup is like, they have some of the hottest trending products. And I'm so impressed. Like, a little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. And you guys, these do smell like peaches. So, damn. Now I'm going to take the shade Phoenix, which is this color here. And I'm going to go into my crease with a Morphe M576. Now, this is my first time trying these Morphe brushes as well. I did get the Morphe subscription, which is like the liquid lipstick subscription that I have. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you would know that I am a part of that subscription. If I just show you guys quickly, it's from the brand Live Glam, and they do a monthly brush subscription as well as a liquid lipstick subscription, which I'm now in both and obsessed with them. So you will be seeing Morphe brushes from now on. I've never bought from their website, simply because their shipping to Australia just 
is not worth it. Their shipping is ridiculous. But doing this subscription allows me to try Morphe brushes in a really affordable way. If you guys want to see the Morphe Me brushes a month, as well as my liquid lipstick subscription, then I can definitely do that. I've definitely been wanting to do my liquid lipstick subscription because I believe I have something like 30 liquid lipsticks from them now, which is crazy. But this shade is blending out amazing. It is super light, so it's not going to show up too much. But moving on to the next one, I do want to do something a little bit peachy, I think. So I'm going to take the peach shade Petra, which is this one right here. As you can see, color is there. Okay, so back to filming. Oh my god, I just dug my finger into those eyeshadows. That is so annoying. So here is what we have so far, a really nice peachy lid going on. So it took me a while to build up the shade Petra, but honestly, once it's built up, you can see how stunning it looks. Now, I'm hoping the lighting is okay, you guys. I'm so sorry. The sun keeps coming in and out. So that is Petra built up pretty well, I would say. Now I'm going to continue to keep building that peachy shade, I think it looks stunning. I also might take it up like the slightest bit, just up on my crease, but this brush is so effortless. Now I did just want to do a super peachy look today, which is pretty basic, but I'll be sure to do more looks with this palette because there's just so much that can be done. Let me know what kind of looks you guys would like to see. So I'm just going to do that there and then I might take a bit of Patsy, which is this brown shade down here and just put that on my outer corner. I'm just going to pat that in there. Patting in with a Morphe M578. So that's just Patsy, that brown shade in there. And then I'm just going to take the same blending brush and kind of just diffuse the edges of that and then I'm going to take the shade next to it which is called Pearl which is just more of a sort of warm more warm tone shade it's not darker I don't think not that much I mean it's like a shade smidge darker this brush is really good for packing it's like a little pencil brush I want to say really really good and I'm just swelling that fluffy brush around again And now I want to do my lid shade before I go back in and darken the crease again. So I'm just keeping up with the Petra shade we used at the start, the real peachy shade. Which in the pan it looks like it has shimmers in it, but on my eyes it's not coming out that way. So totally okay. Now I'm going to take this shade maybe. This looks stunning. Yeah, that's super pretty. I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see it, sort of, but I'm going to wet my brush anyway, but it is pigmented. It packs a punch, and this is the shade Porsche. I kind of just... Oh, there we go. I'm taking a wet brush and taking the shade Porsche, which is this champagne kind of colour. So, just on a flat brush, and I'm just going to pack that on my lid. Now, even with a wet brush, it's not like super, super pigmented. I mean, it is a pretty shade. But I don't think it's anything revolutionary. I definitely think the mattes are probably better in this palette. But I'm gonna use my finger and just pat over that. Okay, you guys, so this is gorgeous little Skylar. She is six weeks old and currently not that happy, but I thought I would just show you guys in a video in her super stunning little fluoro outfit. She's currently looking at the bright light. She loves bright light. She loves being outside. Oh, look at that big yawn. But this is my gorgeous little six week old girl, Skylar. So I thought I'd just bring her in and show you guys. She is just fixated on my ring light right now. So cute. So say hello to the camera. Say hello, look at my gorgeous blue eyes. Okay, so I've kind of just mimicked that shade on both lids. Now, it is a pigmented shade, but it's not like, bam, in your face pigmented. It's a gorgeous color. 
It is like the most stunning goldy, goldy champagne color, yellow gold champagne color. Like I'm living for it. Now I'm just going to go back in and sort of just slowly, slightly buff over the edges with the peachy shade, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the shade up here called Pia, which is this matte brown shade. And I'm gonna go in with that same brush I had before, tap off the excess and just kind of pop that into my crease to deepen the outer V a bit. Also, I think there's an even darker brown next to it, which I might take. I'm not sure if it's black or brown. Okay, so I'm gonna further deepen that outer V with the shade BB, which is the dark color. And I'm just gonna focus that in my outer V, just where I put that other dark shade. Now, I don't want it too crazy. I just want a little bit here. And I'm just kind of wiggling it in there. Okay, you guys, so I just applied some falsies, just eBay ones like I always do. So I'll have them linked down below for you. Also, I did just stab this eye out. So if it looks watery, then that is why. So going in with the Unicorn Drops Primer Serum, which just looks like this. As you can see, it's got flecks of glitter in it and also the sun is shining through at the moment. So you can definitely see it great. So this is just this Primer Serum, Priming Serum for instant hydration, apply to the face prior to applying moisturizer. It can be also applied as a makeup primer. So I'm gonna do what they do on Instagram. And, oh, that totally just dropped down my shirt. I'm hoping it gives me hydration because I really need it. It is super runny, this primer. And I'm just gonna be careful around the brows. So I'll just bring it down my neck. And it is super liquidy, like it does feel serum as the name suggests. So we'll just kind of let that sink into my skin. But I don't know if you guys can see, it does definitely give a glow to the face. It does have like specks of glitter in it, but it does feel super nice, super cooling on the skin. So I ain't mad about that. And to add some extra glow, I'm going to go in with their Glow On Glow Drops, which look like this. They have uh, three shades of this. I got the shade Pearl, I believe. It sucks because it doesn't say it on the packaging. It says it on what I ripped off. But I'm just going to apply that to the top of my cheekbones and just blend that out before foundation. Whoa. So as you guys can see, it's super, super intense like a blinding highlight and also just hit like the high points of my face for that extra Tin Man status glow but these blend really really well and as you can see I am glowing like no other now going straight in with foundation I have their face base foundation now this one is in the shade light now, this looks way too dark for me. I mean, it might be okay, but considering it's light, it doesn't seem that light. Like, it looks a bit orangey. So I'm gonna apply one half of my face with a brush, and then the other half with a sponge. I can't find any of my bloody brushes. Go figure. So this is the color light, you guys. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, it does look super orangey as well. And I don't know what coverage or anything is like, so I'm just kind of in it. And I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. It's blending out nicely though. Blends like a dream. I would say medium coverage currently. You can definitely see that glow still through, which is great. So I'm gonna do another pump and try and build up the coverage. Also using a sponge usually 
diffuses the color anyway. And I'm gonna bring it down my neck just because I think the color needs to be brought down my neck and just go around my brows. Coverage with a sponge, like you can definitely still see my redness and you guys will probably be able to tell 110% that it's so sheer. So I'm gonna try the other side of my face with a brush and I'm going to take the Morphe E6 which is just a flat brush, love it. I'm just going to apply the foundation straight to the brush, start patting in my foundation and buffing it out. Now I have been obsessed with this brush, like obsessed. I got this brush in that same subscription that I was going on about earlier and this brush is amazing. Now, I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer or those glow drops, but I'm definitely glowing and I'm loving it, to be honest. Loving it. I would say this is medium coverage, this foundation. It's not covering as much as I would like, but it does look really nice on my skin, as you guys can probably see. So, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey, but I think this would definitely be the foundation that I go to when I don't want too much on my face, but I still want something there. So, here is what my face looks like, you guys. And you can definitely see the glow coming through. Yeah, I actually like it. The more that it kind of sets in, the more that I like it. And on the back it says, Dewy Finish Foundation. It's got coconut water in it that hydrates and gives the skin a radiant glow and it definitely does do that. I would just personally like a slight bit more coverage but other than that, the finish is gorgeous. So moving on to concealer, I have this Take Cover Concealer which looks like this and it's got like a little cap. Now this reminds me, reminded me of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer which I've owned for so long. I got the shade Vanilla. So this is what it looks like. It is fairly thick. I am just going to apply that under my eyes where I would not normally apply my concealer. Now my skin type is pretty dry. It wasn't always dry. I used to have like oily skin, but I don't know if it's the weather or what, but my skin is just so that's just to let you guys know. Now Chi Chi, not Chi Chi, Sports Girl has sponges but I wasn't really interested in them because nothing is going to be this Kmart $3 sponge so that's why I just stuck with this tried and true sponge of mine. This concealer blends like a dream. And I do think it does give a decent coverage and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I actually really like it. So here is how that concealer looked. As you can see, I'm super glowy because I didn't, I haven't set anything yet, but this is how we are looking. I just went off and set my face quickly just because I don't have any setting powders and whatnot, like, you know, under eye or setting powders for the face. Now going in with bronzer, I'm taking their Heartbreaker Baked Bronzer, which I actually got this for highlighter, but I am going to try and attempt to bronze with it. So wish me luck, you guys. I'm kind of nervous about this. So I'm just going to swirl them all together. Now, oh my God, it just looks super shimmery like a highlighter. It kind of just doesn't look like anything. So I'm not sure how I feel about this product. I don't know if you guys can see anything. It doesn't really look like there's much other than just like a chunk of glitter on my face, which I'm not really about that life. Like glitter in this area, eh. No, I'd probably just stick to using these two shades as a highlight, but still even then it's a bit chunky, so not my fave. So I'm just gonna bronze with a bronzer that I know that works. Okay, for blush and highlight, I have this super exciting palette. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is holographic. 
This is their Complexion Perfection Face and Cheek Palette. It is an illuminator and blush palette, so highlighter and blush palette. And here is what it looks like. It has holo packaging, which is like, hello, holo, marble, pink, and purple, and pastel and it's just everything. And I swatched these, and it's just like, damn, like, look at that highlight. Start me. So I'm going to go in with blush first, and I'm going to take a mixture between peach and blossom, so the outer portion shades. So peach and blossom. Wow, super pigmented. Oh yeah, it definitely shows up. Wow, super pretty. Pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And I'm just going to brush that on my face. Gorgeous. And then for highlighter, you've got about six different options. You've got a deeper skin tone sort of range. So you've got your light, medium, dark sort of thing. So I'm probably going to go in with vanilla and candy, which are these two shades, which, oh my God. Gorgeous. Now this is not a wet brush. And I had those glow drops underneath. Now I didn't want to layer them on top again because I just think that would be just too much. So let's just tin man status it up and hit these cheekbones, go in extra with vanilla. Damn, so good. So that is that there. I'm also going to take a bit of that underneath my brow bone. So take vanilla. Oh, don't take that much. Do not take that much. You just need a slight little bit. Okay, just like that. Obsessed with this palette. I knew it would be amazing from swatching it. That is all I'm going to say there. Back into the peach palette. I'm going to take the shade Petra, which is the peachy shade, underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a bit of PR, which is this purpley shade here, and kind of just pop that on the out a little bit. So we've got a little bit of purple happening which I think I took that way too low, but now we've just turned this into like a peach smoky eye. I Finishing off with the lip chalk, which is their matte liquid lip creams in the shade Royal, which is this gorgeous new brown shade. It's kind of a little bit light. And then I have their Magic Dust Lip and Eye Topper, which these are brand new, super exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Magic Dust on top of my lips. And this one is in the shade Gold. So this is how this looks, I'm not sure. How well you guys are going to be able to tell. It is stunning though. So this you guys is going to wrap up my testing sports girl makeup video. I literally enjoyed everything except the baked bronzer, the heartbreaker baked bronzer. I would definitely say it's more a highlighter and even then I would rather go for their Sorry, itchy nose palette, or they also have single baked highlighters, which I own and they're amazing. So maybe just stick away from this one. Unless you're a deeper skin tone, then you might be able to get away with it for highlighter. But other than that, everything else I loved, you will see them in videos time and time again. I hope you guys liked this testing sports girl. If you want to see more of these different looks, different palettes, they are dropping the hottest products. They've just come out with the white and dark shade adjusting drops. So if you guys need them, get them at Sports Girl. They're $12.95 and they look bomb. I'm obsessed with all of these little dropper things. They're so up with the trends and I'm so happy about it. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked this testing video and I'm definitely doing more testing videos in the future. So you can stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button if you want to be notified when I do upload videos. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Let's chat in the comments down below, my angels. I love you so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, you guys.